Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Kurt, and uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. I did a, uh, another USPSA match today, um, and I did terribly. Well, terribly for me. I was doing progressively better, and then I took several steps backwards. And uh, I want to talk in this video a little bit about um, sights, sights for your gun. Um, there was lots of videos on YouTube about how to um, install uh, a sight and almost no videos on site selection so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and hopefully you can see me I don't have a camera that has a uh, viewfinder that flips back but um, when you you've got lots of different options for sites there's war and tactical and all kinds of combinations with the rear with the front sight uh, different um, widths and height of the front sight and opening variations for the rear. Numerous, you will go crazy. It'll take you a week to figure out what's what out there. But you basically got Warren Tactical, um, and then they make all kinds of variations of their sights. You've got Dawson uh, Precision. Dawson Precision. You can find them at DawsonPrecision.com. And you've got Hein uh, also makes sights, and typically they're mixed in the rear sights and some of the front sight combinations are mixed in with uh, these different companies. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a company that is I got that's got some great prices. They're fast shipping, located in Georgia. It's called uh, CPWSA. CPWSA.com. Um, Chris is winning shooting accessories LLC. So his his uh, speed was quick. Got it uh, really fast and um, <clears throat> came with a little uh, insulation mini wrench, which is nice because I don't know where I would have found something like that. Now, one of the things you're going to have to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about insulation because you don't have to get a gunsmith. You can do this yourself. Uh, I know there's, I realize that there's a lot of people that don't do anything themselves anymore, but you can do this yourself. But the thing is, you need to find something that's got brass because brass won't. Uh, dent or chip or do anything to to damage the site and it does not come with a punch and you're going to need to press this in there uh, pretty good before you get that before you can put that set screw in now originally I had uh, this exact same site but the model that came before this that didn't have a set screw so that's why I, I opted to look at other options it was actually loose and um, so now on to site selection there's all kinds of schools of thought here about what's better, what's not better, and you can go ahead and read and spend all your time trying to figure that out and listening to people. But what it comes down to is as simple as this. Can your eyes see and use the sight that are on the sights that are on the gun? Because if your eyes can't, all of that advice is worthless. Everyone says, ooh, this Dawson Precision front sight is great. And you know what? They are great. It's like looking at a laser beam shining in front of my gun, but my eyes can't see it. Something, something about it, the very narrow sight. Now, I, I did get a chance to put on a, a little bit wider uh, Dawson front sight that um, Paul, one of the, the range safety officer, happened to have an extra one. He let me try it out. It helped a little. But when I went back to this Hein, just it's just a standard sight. Hold on a sec. Okay, um, you can uh, you can see it's just got a white dot, and um, so you uh, you know when I when I sight down with this, my eyes can see it, and I don't have to close either of my eyes. With these, I was having to to kind of do this. I couldn't. You know, my eyes just would not focus on this uh, front sight and so I took it off and I put this one back on and what I've got my new my rear and um, that's just what I'm gonna go with so you know the advice that's out there is really good advice but what it comes down to just like a gun I'm a big proponent of Glock but you know what a Glock might not fit your hand so maybe you should look at uh, XD or Smith & Wesson M&P uh, those are the only three I'd really recommend. But um, in any case, if, if you want something else, great. But for me, it's how does it fit in my hands? Does it fit in my hands good? Because that's the biggest thing that, uh, in my opinion, about a gun. And the same is true 
Well, once you've decided what caliber you want. And I think the same is true about sights. If your eyes can't use them, they're gonna be pretty worthless to you. And you're gonna um, be really ticked off at the end of the day when you've shot a terrible run uh, at a match. And uh, which is what happened to me today because this was the first time I was shooting with these. And I thought, well, it's just me. I was having an off day or whatever. But then I started thinking back to my time when I was practicing and some different stuff. And I realized, you know what? It isn't me. <laughs> it's, it's this sight. And okay, you know, it kind of is me because physically I can't, uh, I couldn't see it. But um, anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that helps you become a better shooter. Uh, equipment is one thing, but if your body and your brain and your eyes can't use the equipment, uh, that's another thing. And so, um, you know, I think fiber optics is great. And if you can use it, uh, it is uh, really something else. I mean, you can really see, see it, but um, I couldn't. So that's that, and I hope that helps.